Hey, how y'all doing? So listen here, I am up early uh, on, it's Tuesday, ain't it Tuesday? Yes, I'm up early this Tuesday morning. And um, listen, like I had said, now we about to have a conversation that some of y'all just not gonna be into. And that's okay. But I feel like the conversation is necessary because when I look out and I see some of the things, I'm just like everybody else. I see a lot of things on the blogs and social media and shit like that. And it's just like, I'll be sitting there like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, and, then, and, I, and I have opinions just like everybody else. And so I wanna talk about this for a second, okay? Um, ladies, I see a lot of y'all, okay? out here advocating for the scenario to be that a man should come in, pay the bills, and take care of you. Now listen, let me tell you this here. I am not opposed <laughs> in no way, form, or fashion for somebody to come on in and be a helpmate. I don't like the narrative where it feels like you want a man to do more than you can actually provide for yourself. Cause at that point, you don't fucking depend, you his dependent. Okay, you his dependent. If he's coming in, paying all the shit and, and providing and doing all of this stuff and you're not able to do those things for yourself, you're his dependent. He should be able to claim you on his fucking taxes. And here again, I know y'all gonna drop down in the comments and y'all gonna have a lot to say. And let's talk about it. We can talk about it. We can be respectful and we can have a dialogue about this. Because I just personally feel like if you can't pay your own bills, if you can't get the bag that you want, if you can't get the car that you want, if you can't get the sh shoes and shit that you want on your own, then you're not self-sufficient. And if you got to wait on a man to provide those things for you, then you are you are being dependent on another individual to take care of you. And that, as a female in 2021, I don't stand behind. I believe that every woman, because you know, girl power, okay, should be able to do anything that she wants to do for herself because other than that you are putting the control and the power of your life into the hands of someone else now i'm not saying okay because let me let me clarify for the people in the fucking back or the people who just walked in i'm not saying that a person th that you're involved with should not be able to assist i'm not saying that if you want to get a little giffy gift okay they want to provide you with a few nice baubles. I'm not saying that that shouldn't happen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You want to give me something? Please the fuck do. Okay. But what I am saying is that I should not only be able to get those things only if you're the person providing them. You do not want to put the power and control of your life and your situation into the hands of anyone other than yourself. And I'm speaking, listen now, listen now, I'm speaking from a spurns, okay? I'm speaking from spurns, okay? And, I, and you know, like I always got to give y'all a little story time for the stuff that I'm up here talking about just, just to make it plain for you because sometimes people will feel like you don't know what the hell you, that you're talking about. And I got to let you know, no, no, I know what I'm talking about. Senescence is the greatest form of, of, of the aging process, okay? Okay, it is. And so uh, this wisdom that's up in here is valuable and I'm going to give it to you for free right on this damn YouTube. Okay, so listen here story time real quick when i got married to my ex-husband yes there were things that um i was coming off of the real world and i had had a development deal with mtv and i was doing uh mtv co-hosting mtv jams and their college edition and you know mtv when you're in a development deal they're basically trying to find a show for you right they're trying to find what uh you can do within their um, corporate structure 
of entertainment, right? So they had me filling in and doing stuff, you know, uh, that's how Bill Bellamy and I came to know each other. Somebody's, uh, somebody's uh, texting me. Uh, you know, came to know each other and all that. So I had this development deal with MTV. They, they paid me a lot of good little coin to be in that development deal. And then I was um, up for t my own talk show back then. And, and, and dead smack in the middle of that, I met Kenny Anderson. Okay, so in terms of being able to pay things for myself and, you know, uh, get, uh, you know, whatever it is that I wanted, I was able to do that for the level that I was at. Okay, so I was happy with my life. And then I met Kenny Anderson. And then, you know, uh, notwithstanding or taking anything away from him, he opened up a whole new world. For me and I and I will always acknowledge that and admit to that now what I mean by that is regular folks getting up every day going to work working a regular job Tammy Roman was already making six figures low six figures but six figures nonetheless you know about right around 110 and um at my job at the AIDS center that you guys saw me working at on the real world okay and then I left that to enter this entertainment thing. And then it bumped me up to still low six figures, but higher than 110. Okay. And so I was okay with my life. I mean, the average person getting up, you you know, you're not coming home to $200,000, depending on your job. You know, you're working a regular job, $200,000 a year. So I, to me, I was good. Okay. And then he opened me up to far more than that. And I will always give him credit for that. Within that, he then said, I don't want you working. I don't want you doing this entertainment shit. I don't want you singing. At the time, everybody knew I had a single. I don't want you singing. You don't have to do any of that. And I allowed myself to be manipulated into a thought process of if a man can is providing this shit, go on, provide. Y'all the hunters and the gathers, go on and handle your fucking job and let me handle these kids and this house and shit like that, okay? And I lost myself in that moment. I'm not saying that this is what you ladies are doing. I'm giving you story time about my fucking life, okay? And I lost myself in that and allowed him to be the provider but I was not continuing the road that I was initially on of providing for myself. So technically we had children and I was the third fucking child. I was his third dependent. Well, no, he had more kids than that, but I'm saying like I was dependent upon him to provide for me. So when the shit went left, and then left and then circled back, hit a right, and then went the fuck left again. I was stuck, ladies. I was stuck. I had all the bags. I had all the cars. We had a couple of homes. But Tammy didn't have anything of her own. Everything was provided by my ex-husband. There was a... I had came across uh, somebody the other day and um, they said that they, they first knew of me or heard of me when they saw me on a show, I think it was Entertainment Tonight, and uh, I used to have a white H1 Hummer. Ooh, I love that car. Ooh, that just, be ooh, baby. I had loved that H1 so much. Ooh, child. I first, when I first saw Arnold Schwarzenegger, because he was the first person I saw, like, you know, one that was like you could drive around on the streets. Of course, we know the military has them, but he had one, and it was like a iridescent uh, purple bluish color that paint that he had custom paint he had on. I had fell in love with that, and I said, I'm gonna give me that car one day. And so, anyway, they had saw, anyway, child, that was flashback memory. They had saw me on Entertainment Tonight, and my Hummer, the license plate said, His Cash. And they just thought that was so funny and petty at the same time. Now, me being me and y'all, 
kind of being familiar with me. I'm just always truthful. It wasn't no fucking lie. It was his cash because I didn't have none of my fucking own because I had let my entire life get to the point where I was dependent upon him. So what I came into the relationship with when we got divorced is what I left with. I'm not saying that Kenny Anderson did not pay child support in the beginning because he did, but that's not what the story is about. So I'm not going to get all off into the Kenny Anderson and Tammy Roman story of our lives. I'm not doing that. But anyway, uh, what I'm saying is I had became very dependent upon him. And so when we didn't work, there, there was nothing that I had of my own to be able to go off and basically, you know, just, I was starting from scratch when we got divorced because I didn't continue to take care of my fucking self. And I let someone say that they were providing for me and that ended up coming to bite me in the ass. So when I see today, 2021, that that is actually what women want somebody to do, it just, oh, oh, it stabs me in the heart. Y'all don't want that, ladies. You don't want that. Here again, if somebody's coming in and helping your, your situation, I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, we, you, you, when you're in a relationship or you're trying to get something popping, a situation ship, an entanglement, whatever the fuck y'all calling it these days, and you're trying to get it popping, you want somebody that is significant enough within your situation that should something happen in your situation, they could step in. They are contributing to what you already got fucking going on. But I do not agree with you asking somebody to come in and provide more than you can do for your fucking self. Okay. And I'm just going to stand on that. I, I, I am an advocate for women being self-sufficient, independent, and just being able to handle everything about their lives themselves. And here again, we're going to have some women that, that don't agree with that. Like, well, shit, if a nigga want to take care of me, and that'll be the main motherfucker that when he decide he don't want to fuck with you no more, you ain't got shit. But that bag or whatever the else he, that he have so graciously, okay, decided to give you during the time, during his tenure in your pussy. Okay. Ooh, I'm sorry. Well, that went left quickly. Um, didn't want to say that. Uh, you know, anyway, so ladies, the moral to this story time is I don't want y'all out here asking for nobody to come into your life and provide more for you than you can provide for yourself. I don't want you asking for somebody to come into your life and take care of you and take care of your kids and do all of this shit and not and you not be self-sufficient enough to do those things for yourself. If somebody's going to come in and help, yes, great. Let them assist. But in the event that shit gets shaky, He's not the end all be all in your life and you able to, if need be, step the fuck off and keep right on going down the highway, handling your business, the business of your life. I don't know why y'all wouldn't agree. I don't know why y'all wouldn't agree with that. I don't know why y'all wouldn't understand what mother is trying to tell y'all. Auntie is out here trying to educate y'all. Get your own fucking bag. Get, and, and that's every bag possible. Emotional bag, uh, 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 physical bag, uh, financial bag. Get all the fucking bags that you are entitled to in this life, your fucking self and anybody that comes into your situation. Mm. Okay? It's just a helpmate. They are there because you want them to be there. Not because you need them to be there. 
And that'll, I think that'll help some relationship. Cause you know, these motherfuckers floating around acting like they the, they the sun, moon, and stars. They could treat a bitch any kind of way. Have one over here and one over there. Cause they, they, they done bought you some baubles. They done bought you a goddamn icy chain. So they feel like they could do what the fuck ever. No, nigga, no, no. And, 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 and now that I feel like you don't have no respect for me and that you're not treating me like you're supposed to be treating me in a relationship with a queen, with the queen that I am, get the fuck up out of here and step the fuck off or either I'm gonna step the fuck off because guess what I can do is take care of myself and get my own fucking icy chain. Okay, now it might be an 8 M instead of a 12 M, but that's okay. I can get it my fucking cell, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna get up about out of here because we 15 minutes in, and you know I don't like to take too much time, and y'all ain't got the attention span for what know how. So this was story time, Bonnie Chronicle style. Have a great Tuesday, y'all.